This video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. I was asked to do an unboxing video where I received some crafting supplies in exchange for an honest review. And although I've been receiving offers for a while now, I've never accepted one before. The reason for that is I get so many messages asking me to promote things that I either have absolutely no interest in and therefore could not speak about either knowledgeably or with any genuine interest, or things that don't have any relationship to what I do on this channel. Generally I'll be offered things that I don't want and despite how we're expected to feel these days I don't want to receive free things that I didn't want. If I wouldn't buy it, why would I want it for free? At the end of the day I have no interest in cluttering up my house with things that I don't want or need. So this was the first time I've actually been offered a chance to receive something that I would have bought anyway and it fits perfectly with what I do. So this is the parcel I received, it's from bbcrafts.com and I'll put a link on the screen for this as well as in the description below. I wanted to wait until I could film it before I opened it, so here we go. So I've got nylon cord in a range of colours, satin rat tail cord again in a range of colours and waxed cotton cord and all these are one millimetre in diameter. This is the size that I prefer to work with but they do come in different sizes. So this is the one millimetre nylon macrame cord. It's about 20 different colours I think. I bought similar to this before on Amazon eBay. So there are two benefits to buying online in my experience. One is the ability to buy in every colour and I do like to have a full range of colours in these because I like to be able to make bracelets in every colour. Sometimes you can get a few colours in shops depending on where you live but where I live you can only get a few colours. Nothing like the range available online. So as much as in an ideal world I buy my supplies in person, the reality is that there isn't really anything like the choice available in physical stores as you can get online. So these are in little skeins like this, I think it's about 27 feet metres, I'm not quite sure. I'll put it on the screen because I have forgotten. Let's see if I can get into this. And as you can see, I got a range of colours in this because I like to use all colours and that's my favourite, as always. But yeah, there's plenty here to make, plenty of different bracelets or necklaces, whatever you like to make. So I've got a really decent selection there. You'll make quite a few items of jewellery or whatever it is you like to make out of these. So for comparison, this is a close-up view of the nylon macrame cord that I got from BB Crafts. And this is an example of some that I already had. So it's very similar. I can't see any loss of quality in the one from BB Crafts compared to the ones that I already had. So I imagine it will be pretty much identical to work with. So next I've got these satin rat tail 1mm cords and they are quite similar to the first ones, plenty of colours, but they have a smooth silky satin finish to them that makes any jewellery made with these seem a little bit more expensive. And to be fair this cord is a little bit more expensive to buy generally, but if you want something a little bit more special it's definitely worth it in my opinion. It's got a really nice feel to it. It doesn't really show up on the camera I suppose as much as it does when you're actually looking at it in person and getting to feel it but it's a lovely soft feel to it and it does feel really nice and expensive and again plenty of colours so it should suit most colour schemes of things that you wanted to make. So for comparison this is the satin rat tail cord that I received from BB Crafts and this is a sample of some that I already had. So they're both nice and smooth even close up. And next I got this wax cotton cord. Again, I got a selection of colours so I can make bracelets in different colours. 
and this is the type of cord that I do really like to work with but unfortunately I don't find it for sale very often in physical stores. I do have some that I bought a while ago but generally even when they do have it in store the colours are very limited and you end up with just black cord usually. I find this cord is really easy to work with as well so it's a really good one to use if you're a beginner. I find that it stays in place when you're working more than other kinds of cords so it's a lot less frustrating when you're trying to learn macrame knotting because it's not just bouncing straight out of the knot as you're trying to move along. And these ones do feel really nice to touch as well. Sometimes wax cotton cord can be a little bit over treated and feel a bit greasy to the touch but these ones are just right. And there's lots and lots of colours here which again is perfect for what I do and it's great if you want to make things in a variety of colours. So for a little bit of side by side, this is the wax cotton close up and this is some that I already had. As you can see this is actually a little bit rougher looking when you get close up than the stuff that I got from BB Crafts which seems a little bit smoother. <laughs> 